Monday the 13th of December. I wonder in the run up to Christmas, are you getting a little bit weary of some of those Christmas songs, those classics from years gone by that are just being played endlessly wherever you go? Or maybe you're the sort of person that likes to play them on repeat at home and drive everyone mad. Or maybe you've got a favourite carol and you were so excited because you sang it yesterday in church or you're hoping to sing it this coming Sunday at more carol services. Well, I wonder if you've ever written a Christmas carol or written a song of praise to God. Now, I don't mean for it to be published and others to sing it, but just writing it personally yourself. It's a great thing to do, just you writing your heartfelt expressions of thanks to God. Because this is what we're looking at today in Luke chapter 1, verse 46. We're jumping from Matthew to Luke for a while. And we're just looking at the beginning of this remarkable song that Mary writes. She's writing this on the back of this extraordinary meeting of her and Elizabeth, her cousin. Mary so young, Elizabeth so old, and yet miraculously they're both about to give birth. And Mary knowing that she's she's carrying the Messiah, that this is this has been born and going to be born there of the Holy Spirit. She says, my soul glorifies the Lord. My heart rejoices in God, my saviour. Such an important phrase for us to understand, particularly for those that have taken Mary and made her to be someone the Bible never says she is. Mary is just like us, a sinner, now incredibly blessed and privileged that God should choose her for Jesus to be born. But Mary needs a saviour. Do you see that? She talks about God being her saviour. She goes on and she says that you've been mindful of me, a humble servant. And she's just filled with praise. And that is, of course, what all of God's people are. When we understand how gracious he's been to us, how merciful he's been to us, we just want to be filled with praise constantly. Why don't you write down a song? Why don't you make Mary's song your song? But of course, put it in your own words, just expressing how grateful, how thankful you are to God for all he's done for you in giving you Jesus.